Your greatest problem in life exists inside of you, not outside of you, and that you cannot escape it on your own. The greatest danger to Paul Tripp is Paul Tripp. Titus is about hope. I would entitle Titus, Where is Hope to be Found? The foundation of this letter is a contrast. It's a contrast between hope in human accomplishment and hope in God's grace in Christ Jesus. Now, now the fact of the matter is, Every human being hopes. Everything that we do in our life is connected to some kind of hope. Everybody hooks their hope to something. Hope has an expectation placed in some kind of object. That's what hope is. It's an expectation placed in a person or a thing. And so, uh, Paul is arguing there's only two pathways of hope. Hope in human accomplishment or hope in God's grace. The church he's addressing in Creed is plagued by two problems. It's, on one hand, lawlessness. That's rule-free living. Or legalism. That's rule-bound living. And the unique thing that uh, Paul does, he wants us to know that those are connected by the same root. Lawlessness, which takes God's grace for granted, and legalism, which seems to earn God's grace, both have the same root. And that root is human pride. Pride in self. What's dangerous about lawlessness for all of us, what's dangerous about legalism for all of us, is they play to the core of our struggle with sin. That's pride. Uh, that goes right back to the fall, where what fueled the the disobedience of Adam and Eve was pride, a desire to be like God, a desire for a self-sufficient, autonomous existence. I have everything in myself to be what I'm supposed to be and to do what I'm supposed to do. I can pull this off. And as long as sin still lives inside of us, that there's still artifacts of that pride in us. We are still susceptible to write in our own rule book. We're still susceptible to believing that we're way more righteous than we actually are. In fact, it's our temptation when we sin to minimize that sin and to tell ourselves that that sin really wasn't sin sin, that, that we're really better than we actually are. And the, the solution to this pride is the devastating message of the gospel because the gospel is bad news that leads you to good news. The bad news is your sin, that your greatest problem in life exists inside of you, not outside of you, and that you cannot escape it on your own. The greatest danger to Paul Tripp is Paul Tripp. And for that, I have the grace of Jesus. Listen to these words. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passion and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. What Paul is saying is we were people in deep need of a rescue. Without the rescue of Jesus, we would have no hope. Pride in self is a lie. 
May your hope be in the person and work of the Lord Jesus, who lived the life you could not live, who died the death you should have died, who rose again conquering sin and death, so that you would live a life of Christ-centered godliness. His grace is your hope. Thank you.